In this video, I wanna show you how to resolve the corrupt files message that you very likely may be getting in 11.2. And I'm gonna show you how to do it without downgrading to 11.1 and without doing anything to your Ableton Live files. Now yesterday I showed you how to solve this again with those two other options. Uh, but last night I reached out to Ableton support. They got back to me really quickly letting me know that they know that in the latest version of 11.2, it uncovered a corruption error that was already present in live sets. Basically meaning if you had an older set or a set that had this particular error, it worked in other versions, but not 11.2. It's really easy to solve by creating uh, a options.txt file and adding just a little bit of text to it. If that sounds overwhelming to you, it's super easy. I'm gonna show you how to do that step-by-step -step in this video. And if you wanna jumpstart this, then click the link in the description of this video to download that options.txt file. No need to share your email, it's just a Dropbox link. You can download that and follow along. Now, I've also linked to this article uh, from Ableton Support that shows you how to create an options.txt file. I'll tell you what code you need to add uh, and shows you where to go on both Windows and Mac. Now I'm on a Mac, so we're gonna walk through this process from a Mac's perspective, but again, on Windows, follow that. Okay, take a deep breath, super easy to do. Let's dive in. So first thing we're gonna do is close Ableton Live 11.2. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit that. Next, you wanna download that options.txt file. I have mine just set over here on my desktop. That's what it looks like, okay? Um, if you already have one again that you've created to do some other things with, uh, then stay tuned. I'll show you the exact text you need to add to that. Now, with that downloaded, let's go to Finder. I'm gonna go up to the Go menu here and I'm gonna hold Option because when I hold Option, you see this Library option pop up. So let's click that. Uh, and I scroll all the way over here. Okay, so library is kind of a hidden file on Mac. It's gonna show up. I'm gonna scroll down to preferences. Once we get into preferences, we wanna click Ableton. And super important here, we wanna to go to the version of Ableton that we're on. This whole video is about 11.2. So make sure you go down to live 11.2 and click here. Now, if you see an options.txt file already listed in this list, so right here, if you see options.txt file, then what you need to do is open that file and add a specific code to it. Uh, I'll show you what that code is in just a second. Most likely though, I'm assuming that you never have had an options.txt file. So all you're gonna do is take that one that you just downloaded. So let's go to our desktop here. Here's our file. And we're gonna drag this into uh, that specific place for live, right? Um, there's our options.txt file. If you um, already have an options.txt file, then make sure you add this text right here. Again, I'll put that in the description so that uh, you can just copy that and drop that in, hit save. Okay, so with that done, let's go to applications now. Let's double click Ableton Live 11.2. Um, okay, that's gonna load up here. And now let's go back to Finder. I wanna reopen that file that I was having issues with before. All right, so let's right click here. We're gonna do open with, make sure we open with Live 11.3 and you'll see that it opens perfectly fine. So add that options.txt file that you downloaded uh, into Ableton um, and it's gonna work just perfectly fine. If you already have the options.txt file, uh, copy the text that's in the description of this video, add to it, save, reopen your Ableton Live set and everything should work. Now, uh, if that helped you, if that's of any benefit, uh, uh, easy free way you can say thanks is just hit subscribe, enable the bell icon so you know when I go live. I post a new video every single day, 10 a.m. Central, all about using Ableton Live on stage, troubleshooting problems in Ableton Live. Hope this helps you load this in, get started, fix up all those live files, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.